Arbacoblin packs roughing you up? Moblins mobbing your courage? Well, look no further because this video will show you the best way to blend in and have the upper hand over those stupid buttheads. If your hunger for Breath of the Wild tips ain't satisfied, do check out our other guides and sub for plenty of more upcoming Zelda features. Where to begin? Well, you're gonna wanna find Kilton, the monster salesman. If you haven't found him yet, he's here on a small island left of Skull Lake. Head there at night and you will see his colorful hot air balloon. If you got the time, you can hit up Haas at Akala Stable and check off the side quest associated with Kilton. Once you talk with Kilton, he'll now appear between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m. around all main villages and towns. Hit him up and he'll sell you some pretty nifty gear, such as monster masks. The catch is that you'll need to convert monster parts into his own currency called Mons. The more rare the monster part, the more Mons he'll give you. So now you're grinding for monster parts. Obviously, you can grind for Bokoblins, but you may want to consider this grind on the Dragon Dinral. Head to Hebra Tower, east of Hyrule Castle. Hop down onto the edge of the canyon, pull out some wood and spark it, sleep till morning, and to your left, bam, you should see Dinral the Fire Dragon. If you don't, just keep trying. Paraglide over it, shoot its horns, and a horn shard should drop. These are worth 300 rubies, but also 150 mons. The dragon will only drop one item per encounter, so just rinse and repeat that method. So you got Mon, now what? Monster Extract is great for beefing up elixirs if that's your thing. He also sells a mop. Or the spring-loaded hammer, which is all right. It essentially launches monsters pretty far, but that's only on the fourth hit. But what you really want first are the masks. Start off smart with Bokoblin Mask and hit up a Bokoblin Camp. Put on the mask and you are in. Living it up with pigs. Same goes for Moblins for some great selfies. Mm. The only thing to consider is that if there's a different type of monster nearby, the whole scheme goes kaput. In order to get the Lazafo mask, you'll need to have completed two dungeons. And baby, it's worth it for the mind games. Give one of them a nice piece of meat and watch them fight. But my favorite is to treat them both with their last meal. How's the meat, guys? Good? <laughs> Great. Now get out! For the Lionel mask, you'll need three dungeons completed. It's very useful for getting around these tricky Lion Man horses. However, Lionels aren't as dumb as the other ones, and they will eventually take your impression of them personally. I'm sorry! Other than the masks, you got horse gear that looks cool, but doesn't really do anything else. But then there's the last item on the list, and you're probably here just for it. The Dark Link gear set. Oh yeah. In order to get this one though, you'll need to complete all four dungeons and it'll set you back about 4,000 mon for the entire fit. And you'll want the entire fit because its full set bonus grants you a nighttime speed up buff. What's more, add on some speed elixir and baby, whoo, you're booking it now. And there you have it, Kilton's Monster Shop. If you're interested in learning more about Breath of the Wild, check out our channel. And if you have any pointers yourself, send them our way in the chat below because knowledge is power. Thank <laughs> you.